Now here's kind of interesting, cool old garage here. Let's see what this little boy's got inside here. What was your name? My name's Terry Fox. Hey Terry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I uh, do house restoration. Oh, do you? And well, I used to. I just retired this year. Uh, just kind of give up the, everything. Was you a local contractor doing restoration, no, no, or no, I just did it for myself. Buy them, flip them, and yeah. stuff. Nice. Yeah. Uh huh. And this is paid for now. And nice. And so this is a project and I kind of overflowed it into cars. And so I've got a small collection, if you say, right now. Uh -huh. but, uh, I don't ever see being very big, but here right. it is, very simple. And so I, we're here in Myrtle is, Point here, and, and Terry's got a 37 Chevrolet, it looks like. Nope. Nope. 37 Oldsmobile. 37 Oldsmobile, even better this yet. One is. The, uh -huh. the other one that I have, I'll show you, it is a 37 Chevy. Nice. Welcome to my home. Nice. Uh, this this uh, really isn't a hot rod. This is going to be actually my everyday car. You know, wow. I, I, I like to think that I'll have it done in the first of the next year. Or so. Wow. Yeah. Look at the nose on. Did that have a straight eight originally? Yeah, exactly. Look at that nose on that and thing. I, I'm just kind of putting things together now, so I got my stainless steel strips on, and I've got to come back and do some buffing out and stuff. Sure, sure. It's got a 350. Uh, sorry, I just... Uh, no, that's the way we like to see them. It's a uh, work in progress. There you go. 350 small block, got a HEI yep. ignition, yep. inlay got model, four, alternator. And it's got a... Chevy 2 front end. It's got four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, so uh, aluminum radiator. It's gonna have, yeah, it's all going to be um, all functional and pretty good shape. Something that personally, I, I'm not. Uh, well, what could you say? I, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'd like to be able to work on these things. Oh, it's uh, myself. That's the way I like to do it. And so uh, all this stuff, I mean, I didn't even know they made cast iron uh, grills. And, and some of these old time things, I mean, this thing's probably 70 pounds in itself. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. Cast iron grill in that. And the side, they have the side grills too. I can't remember looking at 37 olds now that I think about it. Because I can't I remember that grill. Rare. I tried to look it up and find out how many they, uh, how many they made. Yeah. And the only thing I could do is come up with how many Oldsmobiles they made in 37. And so I, uh, I'm sure there's somebody that knows. Terry, where did you find the car? Well, actually, I just happened on it. I actually traded, uh, made a trade, and I traded my tractor and my trailer for it. Here locally? Um, yeah. Um, I set my uh, tractor up for sale, and this gentleman came over, and we started talking, and I showed him my pickup. I had this, and I had another car, which was a 40, 46 Ford sedan, much like this. Right. Um, and anyway, we got talking. He said, oh, I have this down in Arizona, and he showed me a picture on the phone. And I said, oh, we like to trade. So we, we did a swap. And it ends up, he and his brother had worked on this car for 40 years. Wow. 40 years. And they got to a point where, you know, it's a, it didn't look like this when I, I'll show you a picture. But um, it's, it's not perfect, and I don't want it to be perfect because. No. I go down to the grocery market, park it in the, the lot. I don't want people slamming their doors on it. And, uh, yeah. But I, uh, I just don't want to freak if I get a scratch or a dent right. in it, you know. Right, and doing it yourself, if it gets scratched, you can repair it. Well, yeah, chances are that I probably will never get back to it, so I really right. want to get that. So let me open the next door here and I'll okay. show you my... This one was primarily about the same. Um, I I put this together. It was uh, 
more or less a basket case that was just parts. There was never a truck when I first got it. I'm sorry, it's kind of dirty. Right oh, that's all right. Um, 37 Chevrolet. 37, yeah. Small block in that? No, actually what that's in there is a 4.3 V6. That was going to be my second, yes. And this thing, it makes that thing fly. I lowered it a little bit and man, it, it uh, does wonders on the curves and it's just fun fun to drive. Right. That's going to be a heavier ride, so um, that one's just going to be for everything else. So. How long have you had the 37 pickup done? Uh, think about 12 years now. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it sort of surprised me. It's It's been pretty, pretty nice. I had a friend of mine, Patrick, he's, uh, I forget his last name, he's over in Coos Bay, but he hand painted all that nice. pinstripe. He's fantastic. And, and it's just a... It's a 4.3 carbureted or fuel injected? It's carbureted. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you even got an AC compressor in there. Oh, yeah. Power steering, power brakes. Yeah. Wow. This thing fit in there within about a quarter of an inch with the fan that I had there. Wow. So um, it, it really was tight, and I haven't finished some of the stuff on this. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know if I'll ever get to it, but I will try. But it works good. It works great. Box or Thanks. whatever. Thanks. Yeah, that's a chest. I had to have some place to put all my shopping and stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't have this thing wow. all cleaned up. But... No, that's that's the way it is. You just come upon these. And... Well, my time's been going in that. So that's the... got chest here, <laughs> hand built. That is cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and and I love um, restoring things. Mm -hmm. That's been my passion. And whether it's this or cabinets or whatever uh i i've focused on these because i i think it's something that i'll be able to pass down to someone mm -hmm. and they'll enjoy for years and years yeah mm -hmm. and so um maybe as much as me i don't know we'll yeah see where it goes but it certainly has been fun that's, i that's a cool wheel i uh when i got this i had eight front fenders two two were fiberglass and uh that one old rear fender and they were typically really narrow so putting a a, a larger tire wasn't possible right so it was don't sit around and cry about not having something do something so i took two steel fenders and i split them lengthways as wide as I could get them and and then I actually reversed them so these are typically front fenders that are reversed wow. so so it's just being uh, creative is all sure I like what you said there don't don't sit around and cry about it yeah. get up and do something yeah, yeah. and that's no, probably what you've done with your whole life I would yeah. imagine yeah. yeah pretty much yeah. yeah yeah that's that's a great analogy or way to say things yeah it yeah Doing with what you have and right. uh, coming up with something that works. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Now there's a 39 grill, isn't it over here? Yeah, that's the other uh, partial one built. Oh, the I cab mean, that was in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I've got many of the pieces done for that. I, I really like a 39. So I've got. The front fenders uh, just got to do some body work, and uh, basically the cab in the front end. Um, but I just—it's going to be kind of a modified rat rod, so mm -hmm. to speak. It's mm -hmm. just going to be something for fun. Yeah. And so this this is kind of uh, sorry I don't have any lights, but. Uh, I built this to wow. go from coast to coast. Wow! It looks factory built. And already. <laughs> Thanks. The, this is unusual from the fact that it's a tandem axle. Yeah. And look at that. And that yeah. is cool. 
the the one un other unusual thing is I I made a small closet in there. So Beautiful. It, you know, it, it, everything when you go camping ends up in, in wherever you can put it. Exactly. So this has got this has got everything you need, and it's all insulated. So um, any weather. Yeah, yep, you can pretty much you can get real cold weather, real hot, and it'll probably be sorry. And, this is sorry, I, okay. my my lights are all right. buggered up. But then there's a little kitchen and nice. a place to stash food and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. So everything I created. So it's super cool. It is. So it was gonna go behind the 37, and when I uh, retired, I had planned to go from coast to coast mm -hmm. and drag this and just go wherever I wanted. Well. You know, part of life is that things happen and you don't yeah. have any control over them. Right. So yeah. health issues and things, i probably just going to sell this and hope that somebody really enjoys it. Because right. it's a lot of work. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you yeah. won't have any problem selling it. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. No. I normally, it, you know, the, I'm just always busy in getting to these kinds of things that I kind of, uh, my dad was disorganized and stuff. And I'd go when I was a teenager and I'd clean up the garage and then, and he says, I can't find anything. Right. You, you know, yeah. it's like, well, here it is. It's all here. Uh, and here I am. He knew where it was, but nobody else did. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of the same thing. Well, we all do that, I well, think. At some point, when I calm down now, when I get through this car, maybe yeah. part of that truck, I'll use all these parts up and then just put things away. Yeah. The way I like to have them. Well, the problem with me is then something else follows me home. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I I'm pretty much done because these are expensive. Oh yes, They're they are. They're expensive to build. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have the money to do it again. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's that's my one yeah. thing that I wanted to do, so. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Off my hand. <laughs> yes, I will. I always take it out, but my husband won't eat it, so. It's kind of a turd like that. You know, you know, if you do them right, they are really good. Oh, spaghetti like squash, huh? Spaghetti squash. Huh. So he doesn't even know what they are, because. No. It's green, I don't eat it. He does, he's not going to eat green Well, stuff. that's really not going to be green. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. It's good. Kind of. Yeah, I. I more Boy, your old blackberries are doing a heck of a job there, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no. We just don't have time to get to wow. my girlfriend. She, she can, she cooks, she, she does everything. Well, the, this, in particular, these, those down there aren't quite as rounded, and they, there's just something magic. I, I love the 30s because it was a, a time that uh, Art Deco was in its heyday. Oh, yeah. And if you like Art Deco, I mean, you're in. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, it's it's part of that. You know, yeah. all of this was it, how it, creative. It's like, say, the Art Deco, and then what was neat in, like, say, 58, 50, 59, you know, when they went to the wings and how much the, yeah, the engineers, exactly. the uh, Hart and Earl and them, wings were in, jets were in, you know, look at 59 yep. Cadillac, that yep. sort of thing. Yeah, it, exactly, yeah. exactly. This was a little different. I, I love this because of the round. I, I love the round. The round is hard to do. Yes. And if you ever seen those uh, old films in uh, of Detroit where they stamped these things out, these mills were like three stories high and went for blocks just to punch out like one fender, you know, it was amazing. Yeah. One job would do one and another shape it. Or I can't imagine. They and they can't reproduce that now. Yeah, no. And this metal was so thick mm -hmm. compared to what they have now. I mean, yeah. it, can you imagine the noise that went along with that? Oh, and man. The mechanics and, you know, all that. Wow. This is just Part of the so in, cool. industrial yeah. age. Yeah, I was really surprised that that grill is cast. You know? it's, yeah, and so was I. So I, that, that was a lesson. I, I'm always learning on this stuff, and um, 
when you get kind of basket cases, you, you're kind of stuck with what you have or what you can fabricate if you don't have. Right. So it's being a creative side that makes it work. Yeah. And this board over here was sitting on the ground uh, out here in a, a, a field, a farmer's field, and I and I talked the guy into selling it. He was going to redo it when he retired, and he he said, "Well, I'll never do it." Uh, but it was sitting in it, and all the bottom is all rot was rotted out. Uh, oh yeah. You and so instead of so instead of cutting it all in all nice and pretty, I'm I'm calling this truck patches because that's all I'm going to do is build patches. I have kind of come up with my own way to uh, hand hammer uh, uh, these round shapes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's no big deal. It's it's just uh, hand hammering. You lay it, lay it on a bench like this mm -hmm. and the technique is basically put a rubber pad down and even thick, thick metal, you can beat, feed it, and, and you can cut, and you can turn that metal, and it's just like, this isn't hard. <laughs> you, you know, this is simple. But nobody ever showed me that. I, it was right. something that I just kind of learned. Yeah, it was like, I have yeah. to do this. The other trick that I've learned is when you want a piece of metal to go a, a direction, you can just score the top of it with a three inch wheel and just score the top of it and you can bend it, you, whatever it way not. you want it will come and you can cut it and you you can just weld it back up and it's it's huh. cool yeah it's really cool yeah. Yeah, yeah, our neighbor the bronze sculpture artist and he does that oh does he yeah yeah all of his yeah. work is all hammered you know cut That's and cool. hammered and welded and <laughs> And just what you're talking about, I'm, I'm seeing all the tools that he has in his shop mm -hmm. well, by what you're of, talking about. Much of my junk down there is going to be for yard art because when mm -hmm. I get caught up, and I will because I don't want to be doing this forever, I, these are just, this one here I want it for my everyday car because I'm pushing to get it out. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be just winter type thing, right. but I want to... Uh, uh, deal with just welding up yeah. ugly yard art stuff it's, right i've already done some of it but i don't have it here yeah. so it's kind of fun now i don't remember this band here being on these cabs here but you know, and, and yeah, maybe that's, that's a 37 8 stuff 39 it's, it's actually uh 39 i've got a 40 and it doesn't have that I'm yeah just trying yeah. to Thank there. That's one of those stamps where they they had to join those things mm -hmm. together. Um, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. I, I love this detail that they punched in here for strength. Right. That's UD too. Right. Uh, and, and this stuff is so thick and so hard to hammer out. Mm -hmm. This this should have been thrown away, but I just didn't have the heart. To <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. It, it just is amazing. Yeah. Do you have a chassis yet, or are you gonna? No, you know it's gonna be a donor thing, uh -huh. you know. So S10 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, S10 is usually uh -huh. the, yeah. the project size. Right. Um, you are an artist in what you do. Yeah. Oh, and the way you talk, you are definitely an artist. Yeah. I I feel like that. Oh, I mean, it's are. being the the artistic kind to revive something and know what you want to pull out of it, but you. It's kind of like a home in a way mm -hmm. when you see something, well, okay, you can do it this way, you can go any way you want, but it's kind of having a vision and having the smarts to figure out you put a million dollars into the house and it may not be worth any more than a million dollars or right. maybe not worth as much. Yeah. Right. So it's just having some common sense and do right. the best you can with the money you want to put into something. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of expression, you know, in this stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, well, Terry, we sure appreciate it. We really like your interview here, and uh, we're going to, like say, we'll put it on YouTube there and see it at Rusty Duck Garage. All right. Thanks. You you bet. Anytime. You're welcome to come back and check in on my next project. I'd love to do that. All right. We'll, we'll catch you Fair another time, buddy. maybe, huh? <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks again, Terry.